Hey guys, so if I'm talking a little bit quiet, it's because Amelia is taking her nap right now and I'm just trying to get her used to like sleeping in her crib and stuff. So I have to keep it down a little bit. So up your volumes if you want to hear me in this video. Okay, so I was tagged by a couple of people to do the Winterlicious tag. Winterlicious. Um, I was tagged by Nikki Phil Philippi and um, I think it's Judy time and I'm not sure who else, but I will link everybody who tagged me down below. So thank you so much if you did tag me. Um, thank you, Nikki, and thank you, Judy. Um, I really appreciate it. So um, let's get into the tag. So number one is favorite winter nail polish. Now I have not worn nail polish since I had Amelia. Um, I The day before I went in to have her, I actually did like a full manicure and pedicure and everything. And I even did like leopard print toes. That was like totally new for me. Um, and since then I just have not have had time to like paint my nails because the problem is um, I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to like have time and every time I sit down in the evenings, that's usually when I used to do it, um, I just never have time anymore because it, I either have to like go pick Amelia up or feed her or like do laundry or something. So I'm always like with using my hands, it seems like. So I'm afraid to paint my nails because I just don't think it's gonna be possible and I don't think I'll be able to let them dry. Having said that, my sister Emma is in Germany at the moment, um, studying there. And she is obsessed with Essie nail polishes lately, so she's been sending me a couple of them. And she sent me one that she really liked for Christmas, and it's like the perfect Christmas polish. So it's like a sparkly cranberry color, um, that's what it looks like. And it's by Essie, it's called Leading Lady. And it's sparkly, so I think this is the one that I'm definitely going to be wearing um, this Christmas, or this winter at least. I'll wear it for probably my... Um, the first Christmas party that we have coming up. Favorite winter lip product. And I wanted to say something like, um, you know, more kind of glam for this, like a lipstick or something, but in, in all honesty, it's this. This is from The Body Shop and it's their Cranberry Joy Lip Balm. I got this last year, um, but it smells amazing. It looks like that. It has a color to it, but I don't use this like really for color. I just use it like at nighttime to moisturize, but love this. It's so festive and perfect for Christmas time. Um, most worn winter clothing piece. That has got to be um, this right here. You guys have probably seen me wear this um, a lot <laughs> lately. I wear a lot of gray and black in the winter time. I just, I like those colors. Um, I just think they're really nice and kind of like neutral. So um, this is by Selected. I got it from Love Clothing last year and um, I've worn this in Outfit of the Days and stuff. It's just got those like bat wing sleeves. It's like a really fluffy Angora and it sheds everywhere, but it's so cozy and warm and worn with like just leggings or skinny jeans and big boots. I just, I love it. Most worn winter accessory, okay. Um, my most worn winter accessory has to be a scarf. I wear a lot of scarves in the winter time just because you have to to keep warm around here. But um, this one is, again, I know it's grey, it's like the same shade of grey as the last thing I showed, but um, it goes with everything. Like, seriously, this is from, or by Soaked in Luxury, that, I think it's a... Is it a Danish brand? I'm not sure. Um, and it's, again, it's like an Angora, but this one doesn't shed. And it's got sequins. It's just a really nice, warm, big scarf. Favorite winter scent slash candle? Well, I had to pick a candle, obviously. Um, I love cinnamon. I love the Christmas tree Yankee candle. I love um, Christmas cookie, any of those kind of scents. But um, I picked up one recently that surprised me and I haven't actually burned it yet because I want to wait because it is the Yankee Candle Christmas Eve. So I want to wait until Christmas Eve to burn this. But it surprised me. I did not think I'd like this because it's sweet. Um, that's not why I didn't think I'd like it. I didn't realize it would be sweet and I love sweet scents. So I can't even really describe the scent of it. You'll just have to like check it out for yourselves if you're ever in a Yankee Candle shop. Um, check it out. But I really, really like this and I didn't think I would. So that's probably my favorite. Okay, I have to be quick. Um, 
all-time favorite Christmas slash holiday movie, Home Alone, hands down. It always makes me feel really Christmassy, really just like, it's such a feel-good movie. Um, I haven't watched it in a while, to be honest, but um, really, really like that one. Favorite Christmas or holiday song? Oh, I don't really like holiday songs that much. Um, Jingle Bells? I don't know. I really, I, I'm not really into Christmas music that much. Favorite holiday food or treat? Okay, well, when I was growing up, my mom, because she's half German, she's half German, half Irish, but she always used to make Plätzchen, which are like, um, basically just, well, it's gingerbread, but it's like Christmas cookies, you know? And um, she used to make like two types, the white type and the brown type. And I actually preferred the white type. Um, it's probably the one that's not as good for you or something like that, but it was like my favorite. It's kind of, I would describe it as gingerbread, but it's it's like gingerbread and um, a sugar cookie kind of mixed into one, at least her recipe was. So um, I just, that's one of my fondest memories as a child is um, baking Plätzchen with my mom. I mean, there's so many pictures of me doing it with her and so many pictures of like, you know, the little shapes and the little cookies and I just, I really like them. So that's something that I definitely want to carry on um, with Emilia and um, I would probably call them Ple Pletzian still as well, even though I don't even speak, we never spoke German at home, but I don't know, I can't even call it anything else. So that's definitely my favorite winter treat or Christmas treat. What is your favorite Christmas decoration this year? I have a lot of favorites this year. Um, I love our wreath. I love our um, centerpiece and our table. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Insert part here. Um, I love our tree. I just, I love everything because we just moved into our new house and it's just been so much fun decorating. So I really don't have like specific favorites, but I just, I like everything. <laughs> What's at the top of your Christmas list? Um, honestly, I I don't know. Like, I don't really have a Christmas list or a wish list. We never really did them. We didn't really, like, ask for things. So um, I kind of have, every, I feel like I have everything I want. My, honestly, at the top of my Christmas list is probably just that my family is happy and healthy and, um, just that, that's like the most important thing to me, to be honest. Um, we bought Amelia her big presents, we bought her puppets, and I can't wait to um, play with her and see how she interacts with them. And we also got her like an interactive storybook and it's just, it's so much fun shopping for her rather than um, myself. Um, what are your plans for the holidays this year? Well, this year we're obviously spending Christmas morning here because we have all the dogs and Amelia and our tree and everything so we're uh, but it's not our first time doing that we did the same thing last year um, and we only had Albie and Sina but yeah we'll be spending Christmas morning here and then we will be going to my mom's house for dinner because she always cooks the Christmas dinner Amelia's crying I'm sorry I need to go but um, that's what we're going to be doing for Christmas. We're also, obviously, in the weeks before that, going to visit Jonathan's family in Dublin. Um, but we will be probably spending it, for the most part, um, with my side of the family, just because they live in the town that we live in. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I'm doing Blogmas on my blog. I'm blogging every day till Christmas. So check that out if you haven't already. I've gotten such a great response from that. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will talk to you in my next one. Bye. Oh, and I tag everybody to do this. Everyone.